admit it's a it's a super thrill. I bought my first car, 39 Ford, and I run into it hard. And I lost a beer. The gentleman said, well, this car cost you $150 to get it fixed. I said, man, I didn't pay you $125 for it. So I took it back home. I took it apart, and I fixed it. I worked for a dealer in San Francisco, and I discovered by racing the cars I could sell a lot of them. I went every week and gave up everything else, so this is what really got me going. I love the sport. <laughs> It's just normal people in drag racing. They're not some off-the-wall kooks or some jerks. Or Most drag racers, they work hard at a regular job and they go to the track on the weekend and they race their car. And the backbone of drag racing is the individual that buys his car and he does all his things, and then he goes to the drag races and he wins his trophy. It's something that every individual can do if he just tries hard enough. There are two separate categories in drag racing. Pro and sports. Sports has four categories. Competition eliminator, modified eliminator, super stock, and stock. Stock, of course, is the backbone of the sport. It has 36 different classes, which gives everyone a chance to run. The professional group also has four categories. Top fuel, which are the AA dragsters that run on exotic fuels. Top gas, which are dragsters running on regular gasoline. Fuel funny cars which are really dragsters with fiberglass bodies. And Pro Stock, which is a category that I run. Pro Stock is a four-speed with a 427 SOHC engine in it, which is capable on the dyno at 690 horsepower. The Pro Stock car will run 135 to 140 mile an hour. In the low tens and the high nines. Now this car has to be equipped with roll bars because it runs that fast. You have to have an engine strap in case you were to blow a flywheel. I'm going to tell you, be sure and buy you a good helmet, not one of the cheap ones. I'm going to tell you, be sure and roll your fender wells. You didn't roll your wheel wells, what happened? The tires wobbled because we used the low-profile tires. You cut a tire. If the old man upstairs with you, you're here. If not, you're gone. Why should you win with just because the guy's got a problem? I like to go over and help the guy go back and race him the next round. 
and beat him. And he says, well, why did you reply to help me fix my car? So I can beat you. That's what the people come here to see, right? And I'd like to see more people with this attitude. A lot of people say, are you scared of the car because it's going 135 or whatever it's going and you're shifting three times. You've got a handful and you've got to shift it all the time. And that engine's up around 9,000 when you're, you've got your foot to the floorboard and you're moving a lever. And it takes a lot, really. And when you dump the clutch at 6,000 RPM, you just sort of walk the car off the line and then feed into it gradually and then try to make your shifts around eight. And uh, so we use between 9 and 10 pounds in the Goodyear tires. Now, I like the Goodyear, the fact that uh, you don't have to do a lot of warm-up procedure. The tire will grip after two burnouts. <laughs>
Dick Lohr was in a funny car that was going over 200 miles an hour. All that you did with the funny car was steer it. Either the car hooked or it didn't. Now, he thought it was going to be real simple jumping in this little Maverick with an overhead cam on gas and going 135. But he found he had his hands full, and he'll openly admit that it's a much tougher car to drive than the funny car was. And you're probably safer on the drag strip than you are on the freeways. I mean, we have ambulances are there, and they're down at the end, and they're also on the starting line. They have fire extinguishers and all kinds of safety equipment there at the drag strip, and they safety inspect all cars before they let them run. Well, I think everybody thinks they have their own little tricks, but when it all boils down, it's just who has the most horsepower. Who can leave the best on the lights? That's where the drag race is won. It's won right out of the starting line. You can anticipate on the tree just a little as the last yellow light comes on, you wind your engine up and of course bonds eye out of the gate at seven or eight thousand RPMs. Speed is in the life of people. Competition among men is what it amounts to. It's getting on a drag strip and racing the cars down the track. That's what you call real clean competition. If we can just keep them off the street, keep them on the drag strip, nobody will get hurt and everybody will be happy in the long run. Now, I'm a racer at heart and I like to do this. Just to go down the track 135 miles an hour would mean nothing to me. It's the idea is I want to beat the other fella. If you've got talent with your engine, you've got talent in your driving, you can win a drag race. <laughs> 